So if the print is this high, you know, if if the print is that high and inflation that we're hearing about all the time is this high, you'd have to assume it would ha have at least this far to go. Mm. But but that's only because people don't understand when you print this much money, you need to multiply times nine because money when money's printed. And when you take your money to the bank, when I take the money that you're going to give me for this great interview today <laughs> and I take it to the bank, I put it as soon as it goes into the bank, the bank gets notified and the bank now has the ability to, to loan that money out nine times, nine times, nine times. So they don't keep money. Okay, so if you put a million dollars with the wow. bank today, they're, they're going to go make $9 million worth of loans tomorrow. That's how, do they, what, how do they make that? How do they do it Well, that's what times? they're allowed to do by, by, by their regulations. They can take a million dollars that you give them. That's why they want deposits so much. And that's then they can go give $9 million in loans on that one That's million. right. Within a year, two tomorrow, years? And within one, microseconds. In one day, they can loan out $9 million if when they you, want to. When you, this is what people don't understand. They, and this is what our parents didn't understand, okay? So Bob goes out, Bob or Betty goes out and they work and they make, they do really well and they make 200 grand a year. Maybe they're online doing online sales. Hustle, 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 sell, trading their most valuable thing. This is what I did for 25 years, from 25 to 51 years old. Spent my most valuable asset time mm -hmm. to get money, terrified, terrified every second of every day. That's, that's really what's driven me the whole time was terror. Like when you don't know, you're going to be scared. Yeah. So I'm going out to get money. I won't. I won't spend any of it because I'm terrified. If I can't, I don't know how to get more. I'm worried I can't keep getting more. So then I'd get the money and then I'd rush off and spend my most valuable asset time again to bring it to the bank. Yeah. And, and then, then they, they go multiply it. Dude, they're telling me to save it, and they don't. Mm. And so when I quit listening to every everybody that's got an opinion about money online or my neighbors or my uncles. Mm -hmm. And I started saying, what are they doing? When, the I quit, banks. when I quit studying the influencers and started studying the banks, Goldman, JP Morgan, KKR, there's just an endless list of these guys. Mm -hmm. You start studying those guys, Elon, study Elon. Elon doesn't keep any cash. He thinks the whole thing's a joke, <laughs> which he's probably right. Mm -hmm. So, so what does he do? He reinvests everything. He's not paying debt off. He's accumulating debt. Mm -hmm. But Apple has debt, Google has debt, Facebook has debt, and they have cash reserves that, that are the biggest cash reserves on planet Earth. They could pay cash for everything, why do but they, get, they don't. Why do they get debt when they have all exactly. the cash? Exactly. Why do they do that? Because, because if I take, if I take, man, you got a little whiteboard yeah, right here, man. God dang. Okay. So if I take, uh, the, uh, Apple just did this. Okay. I got 90, I want to make a $90 billion purchase. I want to make a nine. And, and they're like, yeah, we got the cash for that. In fact, we have cash plus another 50%. Yeah. We got plenty of cash to do this. Okay. And then one of their people says, okay, bro, you do that. That is not a tax deductible event. What we should do is we should go keep this and go borrow 90 billion really at like 0.005%. Uh -huh. Like they're going to pay a half of 1% for this debt. Maybe they pay 1%. Who cares? Right. They're like I don't care. It's a, it's a tax deduction anyway. Interesting. So now they have the best of both worlds. They have their cash and they have debt. End of every year, I dump all my cash out every year. Mm -hmm. I'm like you need to get as close to zero as you can and replace it with assets that, that in January, if I dump out in December, January, I want a payment from that. It doesn't have to be a big payment. It just needs to be a drip off that asset. Something, yeah. So I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna buy a cup because the cup won't pay me. So in December, I had a bunch of money, boom. I'm like, make a deal. You saw, you were in it yes, a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah. Take you bought that, that house. Take that cash, yeah. that garbage that you have. I already had a surplus of money. So if I can't buy two of these, I'm not gonna buy one of them. If I can't write off some portion of it, I'm not going to buy it. Mm. If I can't do it out of passive income, I'm not going to touch it. Interesting. So those are my those are my criteria for making investments, right? And it needs to cash flow. So I took a bunch of this cash that was sitting here, just deteriorating, not providing me with safety, mm. and took it and put it into this asset belt. Literally, like flush the toilet on your savings. So every day I look at my savings accounts, okay? It's not because I'm worried about any more money anymore. I, I know for sure the money's going down in value. Everybody knows that this year. 
your money is depreciating, mm -hmm. right? It's dropping down in value. What you were told that is a hundred grand is not a hundred grand. The bank's not even telling you the truth. It's a hundred less 11,000. It's 11% 11 right now? Could be 34% less. Some people think wow. it's going down 34%. That's crazy. But you're gonna still see a hundred because this is invisible taxing, right? It's inflation. Wow. So I know that. I know it's not a hundred. So when you guys look at your check, yeah, I got 180,000. You're lying to yourself because mm. you, you, you're, not, you're not doing all the math. And what does Warren do? Warren is how I got in real estate. I started buying real estate because I studied, studied the old man. What are you, what are the you old man, when, when, when I would read, well, the old man's only invested in stocks, right? I'm like, I'm not going to do stocks because I don't like them. But what I wanted to learn from Warren Buffett, what, what was he doing? What was the consistent patterns of what he invested in? All companies that were, had been around a long time, he did not buy the cheapest company. Mm. He never looked for what my uncle looked for. He didn't buy low and sell high. What was he doing? He bought fair value mm. at a fair price. He bought the best quality at a fair price. He didn't look for the lowest price. He wasn't looking for the, the day a stock went down to $1. He never did, he's never done that. He invests in companies that all cash flow, Leaders in their space, uh, Coca-Cola, Sea can Candies, um, Apple Computer. He didn't buy Apple Computer for years until he understood that Apple Computer was a cash flow company mm. because of iTunes. Wow. That it wasn't a computer company. It was a cash flow generating machine. When I read that, I'm like, dang, dude, the, everything he buys is really real estate. You see, so I'm like, okay, I, I can't get the, I cannot buy a big enough position. I'm not rich enough to get a big position at Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. I don't get on the inside. I'm a little guy, right? So I'm never going to get access to Wall Street. Goldman Sachs isn't going to call me and say, hey, we got this deal going, man. It's going to be the next Coca-Cola, right? I'm never going to get that call. So what can I buy? This like Warren. 